it just is so funny how the universe seems to place all the right people near you in just the right time. So I'm here at Paititi Institute. Um, today is day one. We just finished our intention circle and coca ceremony, which was pretty incredible and eye-opening to say the least. Um, it's truly amazing at how many people that are here all seem to kind of be going through the same thing and all seem to have very, very similar intentions for the 10 days that we'll be here. It just is so funny at how the universe seems to place all the right people near you in just the right time to help you go through the things that you need to go through. And, you know, my biggest intentions for being here is to, you know, overcome some childhood traumas, overcome some things that I know are keeping me from becoming a better version of myself, learning to reduce the amount of perfectionism that I constantly apply to not only myself, but to my wife and others that are close to me. And learning to deal with my challenges in life with more gratitude and joy than anger, fear, and frustration. A lot of times when I'm confronted with challenges in my life, I, I take the, you know, woe is me, why is this happening to me, why, why do I have yet another challenge, instead of looking at it as a opportunity to grow and an opportunity to push myself to the limits and figure out ways to, you know, kind of acknowledge things that aren't working right in my life and instead try and find solutions for those things so that I can continue to expand my own consciousness and become a better person and learn how to accept those lessons instead of looking at it as challenges. And being that this is only day one and I'm already feeling the amount of gratitude that I'm feeling towards everybody that is here and um, towards Roman and everybody with ITT Institute for creating this wonderful sacred space is just an absolutely incredible thing. I'm not really gonna take a whole lot of video showing the center. I've taken a couple of photos, which I'll include in this video that I'll cut together, but I'm really going to try and stay more conscious of the reason that I'm here, and um, I may not end up taking as much video of this, this journey as I thought I was going to. I may just try and do some small kind of video journals, kind of like what I'm doing now, based upon my experiences, but I think for me to achieve what I'm coming here for and to get the most out of my experience here, I, I really think that I need to focus much more on myself and much more of adapting and acknowledging what I'm going through than really trying to do a big video documentary. I still think it's important to document a lot of this and to um, relay my experience so that other people can make the choice of coming here and going through the same thing if they feel that they should. But at the same time, I think for my own personal experience, it's important to me to focus really on the reasons that I'm here and why I'm doing this. Take it for what it is and we'll see where the rest of this journey goes. Last night was our first ayahuasca ceremony. That's kind of when the magic happened. We began to see all kinds of very neat geometric patterns, but the greatest feeling was just this overwhelming sense of love. 